Good morning. Welcome to the channel. Um, we're in the Z06 today and I wanted to give you a quick walk around and show you the heads up display. So here's the heads up display. It uh, shows miles per hour, uh, RPM gauge at the, the top. And then on the right hand side, there's different options. There's water temperature, which you can change with a button on the dash. And there's fuel gauge, oil temperature. Um, so yeah, not too helpful. But for 2002, uh, heads up display was pretty cool. I like the feature, it's nice. Uh, it's nice to have your miles per hour up there, and it's nice to have a digital option coming from the S2000. This is kind of nice to have sort of both. So here's the walk around the Z06 now that uh, the sun is finally coming up. Uh, so it's 2002 Z06. Um, it's got 405 horsepower, 400 foot-pounds of torque. It's the second year of the C5 Z06. Car is essentially stock, still has the stock uh, titanium exhaust, which sounds pretty good. And uh, being this is Z06, it has the fixed roof coupe, which is uh, very iconic and I think looks great. And I think uh, there shouldn't even be a regular C5 coupe. I think uh, this is how they should all look. The bubble coming out the back of the regular one just looks horrible. Uh, so yeah, it's nice. Uh, you don't see you don't see this body style very much. Um, so it's Quicksilver Metallic with uh, all black interior. And I have a Hurst shift knob, which you can see here, which is uh, highly recommended. Uh, the stock square knob doesn't even fit in your hand and you can't even shift the damn thing. Because it was made for the automatic shifter and they just put it on, so GM with their cost saving bits, you know. Uh, you would think they could just assign another knob, but no, they give you the automatic knob because that's GM for you. Um, gauge sweep is nice. Got a nice idle, nice little burble to it. Uh, the exhaust is very quiet on the freeway, you can't even hear it, but uh, around town it sounds pretty good. I wish it was louder, but it's not bad for stock. OEM headlights, useless, need I say more? But yeah, it's an awesome car, uh, I've always wanted a V8 and uh, always, always wanted a V8 ever since I was 16. 
so it's fun to finally have one. Car sounds awesome. Thanks for watching the channel. See you later.